on deck. And Brett drills in, and that's a fair ball down into the bullpen. And it is touched by one of the Royals in the bullpen. It was signaled fair. Now, we mentioned there are only three umpires. And so that call was made by the home plate umpire, George Maloney, because the umpires on the bases were out of position. And there is Bill Kunkel, one of the other umpires. And thus, it was, I believe that's Mike Armstrong. It is. That's Mike Armstrong, the pitcher, who obviously thought it was a foul ball. <laughs> He's embarrassed. Oh, sure he is. Sure he is. I've been going to the park for 35 years, and I've never seen this happen <laughs> before. I don't think it's covered in the rule book. As far as I know, I don't think there's anything in there about an opposing player interfering with the ball. Uh, originally, Kunkel called fan interference and was going to let and was going to allow Brett three bases. He waved him on to third, but they're going to have to change it. So Washington was at second. Now, Brett hits it fair. As we say, there's no, remember, there's no umpire down the first base line because of the three-man setup. So the call was made by the plate umpire. There's Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> remember the name Dickie Mogul? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Rice, yep. Explain that. Is that off the bench? Off the bench. Well, this what is the, the same Cotton situation. Bowl? Yep. Another look. Let's see what they're going to ultimately come up with here as far as a <laughs> ruling is concerned. D uh, Dick Hauser, whatever the ruling is, is not particularly happy with it. Now, there's Kunkel, the umpire. Bill, with a runner at second, was towards second base. So they had second base covered. <laughs> he was going to cover first base in terms of an outer safe ball. They had an umpire on the left side. And thus it was up to Maloney. Now let's see what Kunkel is going to do here. Well, the obvious thing is for the umpires to get together and make sure <laughs> if there is a rule to get the rule right. Well, if you don't know the rule, there can't be a rule then because you knew it upside well, I down. I certainly can't remember. If they're sending George back to second base, uh, Brett's hollering at Armstrong right now. He Really, he would not have gotten more than a double. He got his RBI. This whole situation could have been avoided. If Clancy would have walked him like he should have done in the first yeah. place, that's what we're talking about. Holy crap. So I Brett, would certainly rather pitch to Hal McRae than George Brett when George Brett is hitting 440 career-wise against me and is certainly one of the great hitters. Well, this is a first. Look at that. Oh, that's touch. terrific. What a move. He certainly thought it was a foul ball. <laughs> well, they have ruled it a ground rule double. That's the ruling. Washington scores. So the game is tied. Brett gets his 58th run batted in, and his play resumes the batter is Hal McRae. Let me say this. On fan interference, if it's called by Bill Kunkel, the second base umpire, George Maloney, the umpire with the whole field in front of him, is the one to rule at which base he's to be placed. And I think that's what finally happened in this situation. Well, that's exactly where he would have wound up. In the air, down the right field line, the wind is moving it back in toward the seats and in about six or seven rows. Did you see Armstrong reaching for it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 